Praise God. Yes. Yes. What did Jesus do for you today? He helped me, help me walk again properly. Oh, praise God. I never I never thought this was possible again. Praise God. Five years. Five years of my life not being able to walk properly and not being able to actually take my steps properly. Now I feel like I can actually walk properly. Praise God. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Jesus. Praise God. Amazing, Amazing brother. brother. Praise the Lord. What an amazing story. And we give God all the glory. I also want to uh, give a little bit of context to that video for everyone's benefit. This happened in Bedford, uh, 11th of August, as part of a wider tent revival with evangelist Daniel Chand in England. And that afternoon, a team of us went out onto the streets, led by evangelist Virginia Logan. And uh, we were just praying with people, sharing the gospel on the street in Bedford. And this young man approached me, asked for prayer for his leg. He gave me the context, the story five years ago, he was involved in a car accident. As a consequence of that accident, he was unable to walk properly and unable to walk without pain. He showed me a large scar on his left calf, about the size of the palm of my hand, and asked what would we pray for his leg. My friend Mac came in and we reminded him first and foremost uh, that he needs to have a personal relationship with Jesus. Uh, the Bible says in Mark 8, we told him this, what is a profit of man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? What profit would it be if his leg was healed and yet his soul was still broken? Uh, and then we went to pray for it his leg. And we said, Jesus prayed short prayers. We're going to pray a short prayer. We're going to pray the power of the name of Jesus and the blood of Jesus over your life to heal you. Uh, Mark asked him what the pain was at that moment. He said, it's about a four out of 10. I cycled here. My bike is nearby, so I haven't walked very far, but it's about a four out of 10. And the more I walk, the greater that pain increases. So I said, I believe the Lord's going to take it to zero. And we put our hands on him. I put my hand on his leg, prayed in the name of Jesus. And uh, then we went for a short walk. And after a few steps, tears ran down his face of joy. He threw his arms around me and said, the pain is gone. It is completely gone. For the first time in five years, I have no pain in my leg when I walk. Uh, then we walked about another 20 steps. Mac took a little video out and uh, recorded what you've just seen. Uh, why am I sharing this? Well, three things. First of all, I want you to know, I want to give God all the glory for this, no one else. Number two, to remind you that God is still a miracle working God. The God of Exodus 15, who declared himself, I am the God that heals, is still the healer. He's healed throughout the Bible. He healed through his son, through his death and resurrection. He heals through the early church and he's still healing today. And number three, if you need prayer for healing, then reach out to God. He's as close as the mention of his name. Just ask Jesus to come close. Get in touch with a local life-giving, spirit-filled, faith-fueled church and they will take that opportunity to pray for you too. Be encouraged. God is still a miracle work in God. Praise God. Amen.